Hi, Karen. Yeah, you know, we've been out here throughout the day today and, you know, the, the damage is now starting to become visible. This is a railing that was over here. It was up against the uh, the water here and you can see this seawall here has pretty much washed away. You know, the railing was all over here and you can see why the waves out there just crashing down on East Gloucester. Massive swells slamming into the coast of East Gloucester. Mother Nature barreling down on the southeast facing portions of Cape Ann. This is crazy. I was just driving all over the back shore and I have never seen the waves like hitting the rocks like this. Good Harbor Beach covered by seawater. Buoys and other debris washing ashore as the winds howl. We've seen wind gusts right around 60 miles an hour here. They're so strong that they've blown roof shingles right off of houses. The massive waves topping seawalls and jetties, flooding out homes and washing debris out onto the roads. The beach itself also taking the brunt of the hit. We're concerned about the beach. You know, when you when you lose the dunes, you lose the beach. For a moment this morning, the sun came out above the harsh seas in eerie juxtaposition. Yellow, orange, it was very bizarre, yeah. The wind knocking down trees and power to around a thousand customers around Gloucester. Many leaving their homes to get a view of Mother Nature. My grandson is visiting from Washington, D.C. I just wanted him to see the fury yeah. of the sea. Uh, pretty exciting. It's one of the things when you live near the ocean, you got to deal with it. Now back here live in uh, East Gloucester near Good Harbor, Harbor Beach, you can see this barrier island here. The waves have just been crashing up against that and really getting above that island there. Just massive waves crashing down here and in the foreground you can kind of see as well they've been still coming in, flooding out uh, this patio here. And you know, we spoke to the uh, the owner of this business that's right here. He says, you know, they sustained some damage, but all in all, things could be a lot worse given how strong this storm was. We're live in Gloucester this afternoon. I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5.